Hey there and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today together we will learn how to create a WordPress survey for free with our Survey Maker plugin within counted minutes. Let's start. Creating a WordPress survey for free is a very easy and engaging process if you have the right plugin at your hand. Let's do this with the Survey Maker plugin. At first, we need to install and activate the Survey Maker plugin on our dashboard. For that, we go to the Plugins page, add new plugin, and search for the Survey Maker. Here is the plugin. We click on the Install Now button. Then, we click on the Activate button. The Survey Maker plugin is already activated on our dashboard. We go to the Surveys page. Now we will create a survey for free in counted minutes and you will see that it's a very easy process. We click on the Add New button. As you can see, the plugin offers a great variety of ready-made templates you can choose from. That means if you choose any of these templates, the Survey Maker plugin will automatically create questions for you. That means you will save a lot of time on creating the survey questions. We can choose, for example, the Customer Feedback Form template. As you can see, the questions are already created for us. Let's check what the free version of the Survey Maker plugin offers us. The plugin offers a great variety of question types in a free version, such as radio, checkbox, dropdown, paragraph, short text, number, yes or no question types, and email and name question types. All you need to do is to write the question and add your desired answer options. You can add, you can add as many answer options and questions as you prefer. The plugin doesn't have any limitations. On the general tab of the plugin, you can duplicate the question. Also, you can make all questions required in bulk by clicking here. If you don't want to apply the required feature to all your questions, you can enable disable this toggle for each question separately. Also, you can collapse the sections so that you can work more easily. Then expand them anytime you prefer. With the next step, we can head to the Styles tab where you can design your survey in a way you prefer. The plugin is very customizable. You can set your desired theme, you can add your desired color and sizes for the survey. Also, the plugin offers the custom CSS feature with the help of which you can write your own CSS code and achieve your desired specific styling results. If you have changed your mind and want to assign different styling to your survey, you can just click on a reset button. Then we can head to the settings tab and configure the settings based on our preferences. We can tick the enable confirmation box for leaving the page feature. We can do this if we want to show a pop-up when the survey taker wants to leave the page. Here we can specify the text of the required question. We can enable previous button and disable the next button. We can add clear answer button so that the user can clear the answer selection. Also, we can tick the live progress bar feature so that the user can see his or her current state of passing the survey. As you can see, the feature itself has different sub-options. You can customize it in a way you prefer. Then comes the question settings. Here you can enable the randomized questions feature with the help of which the questions will be displayed in random order each time the survey taker passes the survey. Also you can set a numbering for the questions in your desired format. Also by taking the show questions count feature you can display how many questions are there in each section. Besides the possibility to randomize the questions you can also randomize the answer options. Also, you can add answer numbering in a way you prefer. Also, you can tick the advanced allow HTML in answers option. And you can implement the HTML coding into your answers. Also, you can allow HTML coding in section description. Here we can insert the survey main URL, that means the page where the survey shortcode is located. Once we insert the survey URL here, we can 
view the survey right from the general tab by clicking on the view button. You can enable full screen mode for the survey to open the survey in full screen. Also, you can choose survey loaders, you can specify to choose survey title and you can change the current survey creation date. As we are done with the settings tab, we can head to the results settings tab. As you can see here, we can specify the thank you message as the thank you message feature is available in the WP editor. You can add any HTML text you prefer here and it will be displayed on the front end. Also, you can add your desired message variables, for example, the username, survey title, current date, etc. That means you can have an advanced and personalized thank you message. For example, you can achieve something like this. Dear, it will be displayed the username. Thank you for passing the survey title. In this case, will be customer feedback form template survey. Also, you can redirect your users to your desired pages right after the survey submissions. Here, you just need to specify the redirect URL delay. And if you want to redirect your users to the new tab, you can tick this option. Here again, you can select your desired survey loader. Also, you can enable the restart button so that the users can restart the survey right after completing it. Here you can enable the exit button. This button will be displayed on a result page and will redirect your users to your preferred pages. Also, you can tick the show the social buttons feature. With the help of this feature, the users can share the survey page on these platforms. As we are done with the result settings tab, we can go to the limitation users tab. The free version of the survey maker plugin offers a variety of limitations you can enable for the survey. For example, maximum number of attempts per user feature. Here you can detect your users by four methods, IP, user ID, cookie, IP and cookie. Here you can write the message that will be displayed for the users. You can write a message for those survey takers who have already passed the survey. As you can see, this feature is also created by WP Editor and you can add message variables here as well. And with these features, you can redirect your users to your desired custom pages. The next limitation feature is the only for logged in users feature. With the help of this feature, only logged in users can pass the survey. You can provide message for the logged in users here. Also, you can tick this option to show the login form for guests, non-logged in users. With the max count of takers feature, you can decide how many participants can pass the survey. The remaining tabs such as start page, email tab and the integrations tab are available only in the pro version of the plugin. With the help of the start page, you can configure your survey start page by adding title, description and your desired styling. This page will be displayed before displaying the actual survey. With the email tab, you can send email to users and of course the summary of the submissions. Also, you can send an email to admin. With the help of the integrations tab, you can connect your survey to your desired applications or surveys, thus having a more advanced survey. Once all the changes are done for the survey, you can save it. And it's time to see the survey on the front end. All we need to do is to copy the shortcode and paste it to our desired page or a post. We go to the post page, add a new post and insert the shortcode in a block. We either save the survey as a draft or publish it, whatever you prefer most. Here is the survey we created for free with our SurveyMaker plugin. As you can see, the SurveyMaker plugin offers a great variety of features and functionalities you can use to create advanced and powerful surveys. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye!